Raphael, you mentioned earlier the fact about you were abducted by the police when you were involved with the Bitcoin and what have you. I want to know, because of your experience living through it, are the police different now as the currency, the money had collapsed value, there's not much value. Are the police different now than they were, for example, before the currency collapsed, when things are good? Can you Have you noticed yes. any differences? Yes, of course, there's, there's a big difference. Well, uh, first of all, people are hungry. When you are the a cop, when you're a policeman and you show the people what is good and what is bad in this society and you have the uh, uh, the power to let them uh, be or not to be okay this is what uh, corruption creates so they're hungry as well they are the law and they're gonna be over you one and again and again and again why because They're not getting paid enough, so they can't afford nothing for their family. Or they become just uh, wolves against sheep. They are becoming like military against the, the the people. Why? Because they don't get paid, and the collapse of the currency—it's just uh, crazy. You no. notice this? Uh, you, now this is a significant change to how the police acted before the currency collapsed, is that Okay, correct? yes, that's totally correct, of course. After the economy collapsed, it's just misery. Even for the, uh, the cops, like the militaries, the police, the, the people who work for the government, they're only just uh, scamming people because there is corruption. And they don't care, they're the law, so... There's nothing you can do with any lawyer, with any, if you know someone that knows someone, that no, this someone knows another someone, maybe you can find out an arrangement for uh, paying less, to, but whatever, it's gonna be the worst. Like, after this economy collapsed, okay, no, before it collapsed, everything was fine, they are just cops they're do they're doing their their work it's their job to look for bad people to look for people who scams who rob now it's just uh, uh, hunger games whatever you're doing whatever you, you have done it doesn't matter they're gonna take whatever they want from you and if you don't have it hey, you're gonna be in jail or you're gonna be I will I got kidnapped so Why? Just because of nothing? I'm not guilty for anything, but I got kidnapped from cops. Why? Because it's, they're hungry. Yeah, it's hungry. That's yeah. It. They're, they're people too, and they need to eat as well. Yes. Raphael, what, what other chaos is developing? How violent has the country become since the devaluation of the currency? Oh. Um. I don't know. I I don't know how to explain it, or I don't know how to answer that question. But it's yeah, fifteen, fifty times more. Wow. More, more people. It's more violent. People. It's more uh, liar. People. Más aprovechada. They. What's the word? I don't have the word for. They just want. In whatever case, they feel like getting a uh, thousand bolivares from you they will do it because yeah so you can't trust not even your kilo it's you like, <laughs> but now even um, I don't want to lead that way but am I correct in saying that when the economy was flowing now even your neighbors are yes. kind of turned against you because everybody is looking for their next meal Yes, is, is that that's right. Okay, well, we start from the point that since three years till now, if your uh, if your numero de cédula, if your uh, ID card ends in number nine, you're you can buy 
only in mo and Mondays. If it ends, is if it finishes in eight, you can buy in Tuesdays. If it ends in seven, Wednesdays. So like this, it works, and you're only allowed to buy four pounds of rice, four pounds of spaghetti, four pounds of meat, and four pounds of chicken. How can you feed your family if you have a, a grandmother? Like in my case, grandmother, uncle, and me okay there's only three people but how can you feed three people weekly with four pounds of rice spaghetti ri uh, meat and chicken that's impossible so I, you know okay I've been living in many countries I am really curious I want to check how people leaves how people uh, uh, deal with life and I learned from them but now I there's nothing I can do for uh, fighting against this situation of yeah it's just corruption the inflation I don't know how to explain how inflation works but it, uh, okay no one can afford uh, whatever they do in the country because the the currency does not worth what they paid for the uh, material primo. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this uh, makes you poor and poor and poor. Even if you have a thousand million dollars at home, you can't afford nothing. Because whatever cost a ten dollar today, in a week it's going to cost a fifty dollar. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be higher and higher and higher. And what? Okay, you live in a country where you win a currency called Bolivares, but they charge you everything in US dollars because the country doesn't produce anything because the government just steal everything. So the, uh, the profit of everyone is just traveling around to get medicines and food and bring them back to the country and sell it in a... Foreign black currency market, in yeah. black market currency mm -hmm. just to get a little profit, but why? Like, okay, you work for Bolivares and they charge you everything in dollars, and what your life doesn't worth anything because yeah. And how would wouldn't that have changed if the person understood to have maybe some Bolivares, but also dollars to put aside too in the future? Okay, it would, it would yeah. have been a different. It would be different it's still course. bad but it wouldn't be nearly as bad okay yeah that's right obviously but okay remember we are in a third world country so people is ignorant so a lot of people they just don't feel like investing out of their environment well trust me that's not limited to only a third world country <laughs> I meet a lot of people trust me <laughs> I understand this better than most. Okay, good. <laughs> Raphael, I just got two questions left. Rounding the corner and heading back to home plate here. Given the situation, what, if anything, could you say to the folks out there that are going to be watching you who feel that this cannot happen to me? What could you ah, what ah. could you tell them? Because you had the technology, you had the toys, you had the lifestyle, the lifestyle. and what can you tell these people to maybe help protect them from what you're experiencing now? Okay, well um tough question. Yeah, it's a hard question. I wanna let the people know that uh I'm having a hard time, okay. But if you are not, you need to open your mind and see that the world is uh, big. If you focus on uh, having all your, I don't know, lifestyle or uh, properties or your money in just one place, it's like... Um, having a home and you never leave out of your bedroom because the world is big and life isn't easy things can change in a blink of eyes I am the soil example I'm the example of it I never thought 
life was gonna be like this, but okay, I can. What I can tell the people as a tip, it's to exp expand your point of view of how the things work in life and each country. And okay, uh, well, this could happen to anyone. This is not. A, um, no, okay. go ahead. I'm sorry, I didn't okay. mean to hit yeah. you. No, uh, go ahead. This this could happen to anyone. It doesn't matter your religion, your uh, where have you been born, what's your uh, social class, or what's your skin color. This could happen to anyone. It, and it's not your fault or your father's or no. That's how life works and how the uh, the people who runs the the governments political it's from hell sorry but this is <laughs> i just can't trust anymore on politicals because this is not what i thought that okay like why do you charge money to tell the people that your country it's gonna be a better country if you're there why this is a question uh, about like who has more than who and you lie to the people telling them that a country is going to be okay their country it's going to be better country if you are there but the people just pays you mm. this is not fair and what after after all it becomes a hell and yeah the uh, the fault it's of you your your fault you'll Just never depend on believing in government again i don't believe no never <laughs> no i uh -uh. I have one, one final question for you. Rafael, my final question to you, what, if anything, do you hope doing this video will accomplish? Okay, Barry, it's hard, but don't ever feel like this cannot happen to you. Honestly, it can, in a blink of eyes. And, okay, I'm, I'm just hoping whoever see this video, just, uh, I'm just willing to work for someone that can give a, a confidence on me and okay I'm just willing to work and not, never feel like this cannot happen to you because you know after all I have a, a really good education I have a everything I, I have had e everything and very well secondly uh, I just hope anyone who's watching this video would give an honest man and a smart man a good chance to work with and okay uh, I just it's tough I know it's hard for you to say this but uh, I hope that people see the sincerity in the video okay uh, last point before we close I want to thank you Raphael for taking your time Pretty sincere, touching video. Um, this ferry for something feels wrong. Bye. Bye.